Coach, what, what stood out to you the most in the, the way you guys won the game tonight? Um, we hung in there. I, I, you know, it wasn't always pretty, uh, but uh, we kept battling back, made big shots, made some stops. I thought Gallinari was uh, good the whole game. But he went, he and Carmelo head to head. He took the challenge. I thought he did well. Al came in with some big hoops, uh, and then Tony finished the game up, especially in the second half. First half, foul trouble, trouble, but um, showed some showed some poise, and he knocked down the big shot. Coach, obviously before the game, Gallo talked about the challenge of, of, uh -huh. of facing Carmelo. Can you talk about the physical and the mental toughness he showed out there tonight? Well, he has that, and you're right, and that's what that's what it is. And uh, you can see him click in. Uh, taking the challenge. Now, the challenge for him will be he needs clicking every night and doesn't matter who's in front of him. And that's, that's a little bit of if he wants to go to that next level, then he's got to, the game's got to be the challenge. It can't be, okay, I got Carmelo or Kobe or whoever. Uh, but he's been playing the last five, ten games. I thought he's, you know, maybe stepped it up a little bit or got, a, got away from the wall, whatever it is he's been playing. Did you sense the, the mutual respect, Sean, at the end of the game, Carmelo? Oh, yeah. Together, you yeah, I think so. There are a couple of exchanges in between. I and mean, Carmelo is really, really good. And uh, Gallo hung right in there. When he's having a night like that, Mike, would you like Gallo to just keep pressing? Because it seemed like he, even after he had kind of like gone off in the third quarter and the fourth, he, he then started to defer a little bit. You, would you like to see him keep attacking? Well, again, that's that's his call in, in the sense of he's got to feel it. Uh, he, I think he got tired, to be honest with you. And, he was out there a lot of minutes. He's played in 40 some minutes the last two or three games, and I, you know, guarding Carmelo or the other night he was guarding Aaron Brooks, and then going down trying to score. I mean, I could see just physically kind of wilted a little bit, but it's 21, and that's to be expected. So, I think he'll get there, and I don't think he'll turn it off, and I think he'll he'll be mentally in tuned in every second. Michael, oh, I mean, all things considered, just the atmosphere in the building. You know, I mean, you've been in the That's league right. long enough, but to a point where you, where this team is in the standings, and yet that third quarter, even the obviously towards the end, but just, you know, is, is it hard to believe that it could be any other building like this where this late in the season of a lost year, no. the place is still as loud as it is? No, I think that's what uh, that's why it's New York. It's the best, and uh, every game is. Uh, we've talked about it before. Every game's a show. Every game they want that game to be a, a presentation of athleticism and and uh, courage and all that and they, they come for it and they're fired up and they're hungry for us to do something and and hopefully we'll get this done and, and have this every night that would be nice.